This is the Sunday Matinee. I am The Wiz, and I thought I would just do an episode here where I would like to thank everybody who has been uh, watching and listening to the podcast for 100 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you very much. I didn't think we would reach this milestone at this point. I thought it might take a little while longer to do that. I was thinking probably by the end of the year that we would probably hit this, but we actually hit 100, I believe around in June. And I just couldn't come up with any way to celebrate or say thank you for it. So I'm just gonna do it right now off the cuff. Before I talk about the future, let me talk about what started this. Many of you may not realize this started off as a side podcast to me and Zero's video game podcast, Capital Games. We named it Capital Games Movie Club and we were doing the we were doing movie reviews once a week and we were doing the game podcast once a week and the, the game podcast was long the movie podcast was an hour long and everything and you know, I, I was enjoying doing this uh, I was enjoying doing the game podcast but then I had a wild bug up my butt because when I started wanting to be a writer and a, and a critic it was for film it wasn't for games and I just got into the the mode of a certain point of trying to write for games. I've had a little more success in writing for games and movies, to be absolutely honest, but I always had a love of writing about movies. I always have. So when me and Zero started doing the game podcast and we were getting into it and we were enjoying doing it, I just had a wild hair up my you-know-what saying, you know what, I want to do a movie podcast. And that's essentially how it started. I was like, you know what? I'm doing a movie podcast. And Zero came along, uh, did it with me. I think between the two of us, Zero knows a lot more about games. And I know a lot more about movies. So the dichotomy there switched where I would probably learn a lot more about games through Zero. And he would probably learn a little more about movies through me. And that, I think, was an interesting dynamic there. And then uh, towards the beginning of the year, we added on Kim, who has been a, uh, a dear friend of mine for a, a little over now, 25 years. And I think that's why we gel so well together, because we, we've, we've talked for so long and we've gotten along and everything. And she, she knows how much of an idiot I can be. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's with it from the past. So what about today? I'm going to talk about the five reviews that got the most engagement and the most views on our YouTube channel. And it actually surprised me because number one, none of them are MCU movies. The MCU movies actually do terribly on the YouTube channel. I mean, awfully. I think only one got over a hundred views and that was, I believe it was a Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Iron Man barely did like 20. Like, it's actually kind of amazing. I, I, I thought of anything, those would be the ones that would give us the most review, the most views. But it's these five, and I'm going to go over it right now with you. Number five, one of the first ones that Kim and I did, which is the review of Always Be My Maybe. Uh, it has 3,231 views, two likes, and five dislikes. Yeah, I don't think people were happy with my opinion on this movie. And I, I think that's what I have to look at to the plus and minuses here. Unless they specifically state there's something wrong with the podcast itself or how we sound. I am basically looking at the uh, the thumbs up, thumbs down as, you know, this is what we think of your opinions. <laughs> so uh, that was number five, 3,231 views. That, that actually really surprised me. One that really shocked me. Number four, uh, the most views on the channel. The Leopard, the movie that I reviewed in the beginning of January with Burt Lancaster. This had three uh, thumbs up and six thumbs down. I don't even know why. I actually really like the movie. Maybe people hate this movie. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that was kind of surprising to me that that had so much blowback. But that was number four. Number three with... Uh, Eight likes and two dislikes is the one that me and Zero reviewed, which is Glory. And this was in July. This was just a month ago that we did this review. 
and it's gotten 5,223 views. That is incredibly surprising, because I, I thought people would have forgotten this movie. Okay, so that's why that surprised me. So that had uh, strong likes. We had a lot of views, so that was a good one. Number two, this is not a surprise. The review that me and Zero did in June, The Matrix, 5,573 views, five likes, four dislikes. We got some Matrix haters over here. Oh boy. Yeah, like, I, I, this is the one movie where I was actually surprised I how much I still like that movie. There's a lot of movies that were really popular back in the day that I returned to and go, mm, I think we overrated this, but this still holds up, and I think it's still a really good movie, and I am very surprised it still holds up to this day. And finally, the one with the most views. This is the one that really surprises me. The Birdcage. The, one of the first reviews we did for last year for Pride Month. In June 2022, we have four comments, seven likes, no dislikes on, on this review, I should say. I re-listened to this about a couple of days ago. Man, do I sound terrible. <laughs> I probably still sound terrible now. But I, I listened to this, and I, I, I feel a little uncomfortable. I feel a little awkward in it. I, I listened to it, I was like, oh my god, this is so painful. But then again, uh, when I reread some of the things I've written, I have those feelings too. So that might just be my modus operandi on that. So... Yeah, that is the one with the most views on our channel. 7,064 views for The Birdcage. Still surprised me, but I, but this is actually a very well-liked movie, so maybe that shouldn't surprise me that much. Moving forward, we're going to continue doing reviews. Uh, I'm going to, if Kim and Zero still want to do this, I'm still going to do this. I love doing it. Uh, even after I stopped the game podcast, I stopped it about a few months ago after E3. I still feel like even if they decide they want to exit, I'm going to keep going. I am really enjoying doing this, and I really like doing the podcast. E even if the views just slow to a crawl, I'm, I'm still going to do this. This is a lot of fun for me, and I really enjoy it. I think I'm going to do a new segment as well moving forward. I'm thinking about something... I I feel like sometimes in reviews, when I talk about how I think they should have changed certain things in the movie, went a certain direction, I, I feel like I get a negative response to that. And I, I think it's mostly because I can't explain it that well in a review unless I make it a two, three hour long review of one thing, which I honestly think no one wants to listen to. So here's my idea. And if you guys think it's a good idea, let me know. If you think that's whiz, that's a terrible idea, what are you thinking? Okay, please let me know. I want to do a segment where I take a movie where I said I think certain things should have been switched around or changed. And then I will go into detail as to what I would have done. Would that be interesting to you? Would that be kind of insulting to the people who made the movie? Probably. But would that be something that you would like to be interested in hearing? Would that be something that maybe as an exercise in creativity would you like to see go out on there? I would like to try it. If you guys want to hear it, let me know. And uh, yeah, that is it for this Sunday matinee. Again, thank you for the 100 subscribers out on YouTube. And thank you all for out there on l watching this and listening to it on X and on podcast devices. I am also at IamTheWiz.com. I put all my written reviews of everything that we have reviewed up on there as, as well with the link to the YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, you can go right ahead. I am the Wiz, and I will talk to you next time.